Today's a special day. You're waiting for the message from the feminine, but this morning, the voice. It sounded remarkably Kathy Miller. For those of us in the room. So what we recognize is that whatever we call the source, by whatever name, for me now, the goddess will forever be known as Kathy Miller. And the power and the beauty and the purity of her prayer will be remembered within the cells of my body. And for those of you on the Zoom or those of you listening to the recording, sorry you missed, but just know it's in the cells of our body. So if you come and speak to us, you'll hear the echo of the God through our heart. The other thing I'd like to just clarify is that today and every meditation that I do is a combined message that comes from your soul, from the souls of everyone here. And so we're going to drop in now and just listen. And it may speak through one voice, it sounds like. But to recognize that what's happening here and every is that the beauty of the soul is being spoken. So I'm going to invite you to drop in and cross your hands on your heart, one palm on top of the other, and close your eyes or leave your eyes softly open. And as you breathe in this beautiful, receive it fully and then let it go, holding on to nothing except the beautiful trust that there will be another breath and receive it fully and then give it away. Here in this very moment, as life breathes you, you may drop into that purity of knowing that right now, right here, outside of ordinary time, with the gift of life streaming in through your nostrils, sourcing your breath, and then streaming out, sourcing life on this planet. This is the movement of love. This is the source of beauty and creativity, peace and And we celebrate today the joy of being able to breathe it in every moment for ourselves and for the world, our human family, all our siblings all the creatures, all the kingdoms, all the realms, breathing together. And we begin here by recognizing our similarity. At the level of the etheric, the breathing is in light. At the level of the material, the breathing comes through the body in all different ways, beneath the sea, high in the mountains and sky, and in every terrain, life is breathing itself. I invite you to flip your hand with the other palm on top. And bring your awareness to this beautiful heart, this physical heart that communicates, regulates, honors every aspect of your physical and energetic. Right now, while you breathe, it is reorganizing the whole team into a vibration of harmony, health, potential for vitality, and of course, beauty. And there is a freedom in the movement of light, and as you harmonize, those around you harmonize. 
And as those around you harmonize, those around them harmonize. And on and on it goes. And as you sit by yourself alone in a room, and you contemplate you are connected to all living beings and all part of everyone, every particle and wave of light, every presence and potential outside of time or within the idea of time harmonizes. You may flip your hands one more time, placing your hand on. And here we contemplate this energetic heart as the chakra is aligned in your central column, the chakras in your hands and your feet open, singing. As the nadis, meridians, pathways of light, the filaments of light, small back roads and major carrying source the wisdom, the beauty, and the love. This intelligent system, 72,000 pathways or more, communicating in harmony. And today, they open to the mystical realm, the song of the soul, the song of your soul, the song of the collective soul, the song of all that has been unheard this moment is bidden come for and this is the sacred architecture, not only of your own being, but of this beautiful cosmic world, this family creature. The movement of the wind and the shining of the sun and the flowing of the water. The steadiness and the trembling of the earth. And the invisible yet ever-present etheric energy. This, the energy of love and light and beauty by whatever name is what you are made of. That is what is breathing you and this group and these ripples into harmony. And you may rest your hand in your lap or keep it on this precious, whatever serves you. Harmony does not only exist when you are pointing towards the light. For if you point too strongly toward the light, you turn your back upon the shadow, the things that are hard to see and feel and certainly difficult to know. And yet the harmony that dances light through the wind, through the sun, upon the earth, in the waters, recognizes that Discord, dis-ease, discomfort is part of the dance. And if you are to truly contemplate freedom, you must dance with your eyes moving everywhere upon everything within, around, beyond, above. And you must open your ears to the cries within you that have said, please attend to me. The things that have been stored within you that at one time were too great to bear, perhaps now, you have the capacity embodied within you. You have the access to the harmony of all life into the brilliant beauty of love, and you have the resources, not only in personal practices, but in friendships, in community, 
in reaching for help or in serving another that allow you to be steady and still so you may heal and hear the parts of you that are calling for your attention. If you begin there, the practice of seeing in the dark, venturing into your own shadow with an open heart, with a light system that is ablaze with the welcoming sign, and with a deep acceptance that there are many times in life when you do not feel, and it may be true, that you have the capacity to meet what is in front of you. And to recognize that that is the part of the journey for every single human being. And some are warriors and pack it away but push through. Some are warriors of the heart and open and let it break, absorb it, and grow through. And some close in on themselves, helpless. There are many ways to travel the path of light for the soul to live a life. And you, here now, have a deep desire to be a light in the dark for others, to bring freedom to the places where others are imprisoned, by countries, by regimes, by families, by institutions, by walls of all sorts and harmful behavior. And yet first, gain your practice in giving freedom to the aspects of yourself that you deem less than worthy. Breathe even now. Remembering that Life is sourcing you, and all is well. In the midst of this conversation, in the midst of exploration, the realization that you are not alone, let that bring sustenance and bolster your courage. For every one of you is like every one of us, afraid in the dark. And we will all take turns bravely showing the way, diligently shoving it into the underground so that we deny and don't look at it, or curling up in a ball, praying that someone will rescue. That is the state of the human, and it is acceptable to the harmony of the It is the misunderstanding of the humans who have raised humans, have raised humans, and so on across generations, that there is some weakness in being afraid of the shadow, being afraid of the darkness that is strong within you. And there is a misunderstanding that pushing it away will work in the long run. And yet there is a balance. So there are days when you dance in the sunshine, where you pick flowers, where you see rainbows and you speak of unicorns, where you hug and you kiss and you shine the light and you spread the light and you engage the sacred. And in those days, you breathe in the courage and the strength and the bolstering that will see you through the days of this sacred shadow and the sacred darkness, the sacred wounds, and the sacred fears, and the sacred bad behavior. For how can anything in life have lost its sacred? To be not afraid. This community, these circles in which you dance, across time, 
the levels of support given to you by the first mother, this great mother, Pachamama, Mother Earth Gaia, from the animals, from the elements, from your friends and your family, lesson teachers, wisdom showers, love flowers, all of them in shadow and light. There is nothing here that is being said that you don't already know. And yet, if freedom is truly your desire, as independence is celebrated in this country of the united or not states of America, you recognize that independence and American ideal is another misunderstanding. Interdependence, Coke coming into unity, community, reaching for others to lift them when they are lost and ask this is the interdependent. That is something to be celebrated within you. As you breathe, oxygen sources your body in ways beyond your understanding. And as you breathe, light sources your body in ways beyond your understanding. And as you exhale, you gift light and life to others. And as you exhale, you are letting go of that which has bound you, has impeded freedom. So simple and often so unexamined as gift breath. It is not necessary to know everything that is being released in ceremony, in practice, in healing, in breathing. It is not possible to know everything that is being released. Nor is it possible to know every potential that is being breathed in, that is a lighting within your system so that it may light some aspect sleeping. There are so many misunderstandings of the humans, raising humans. And yet there are Beautiful wise ones walking at every age. And what is interesting is that every single person walking, crawling, being carried, or being wheeled around at this point on the earth, every single living human being in this moment alive on this earth has wisdom to share. If you have eyes to see, and ears to hear, and a heart to open and receive. Sometimes that wisdom is in the form of a mirror to show you something that is so unacceptable in the world and where it resides in you so that you may help this other free themselves by freeing that un space and the idea that it is wrong within you, bringing it into a conscious harmony once you turn that wound into wisdom, that misunderstanding into acceptance, growth, transcendence. And sometimes it is a button pusher that comes and pursues you relentlessly, intent, truly intent in their mind, which is 
to demonstrate terrible, inadequate, worthless, problematic. And yet, all that mirror is doing is giving you an opportunity to recognize in these exchanges how absolutely terrible it feels to the whole being and to go in and find the places that you inadvertently turned away from, that you orphaned within yourself, to find those hurt and cowering places, those aspects that believe what is being said, and surrounding yourself with light and community and resourcing and sacred intent. You call that aspect to crawl out from under the bed, from behind the from the deep and dark forest and say, come here. I must tell you a different story of your own being. And the harmony of the dance and the way that you have served in your believing that scary tale and in your reemergence into it. And there are so many ways that others in their light and their amazing gifts and capacity that make you feel dim by comparison or unable you are able to go in and find the place of you that says nonsense celebrate that light and see it as a beacon of what may come for you except it may not look it may look your way so many mirrors in this world that serve you so you may celebrate this weekend this holiday of interdependence in community to recognize that there are no boundaries, no borders, no walls, no differences among human beings, except for the misunderstandings that formulated into concrete. Thank you. Action. Beliefs. And self harm and it is from those concrete, those rigid, self-harming ideas that a human harms another human, that a human harms all creatures, that a human harms even by disregard of this beautiful mother, the garden in which all humans live. And so here today, take a breath. Breathe in that shadow of you. Breathe in that dark and tangled wood as a place of great harmony and love, waiting for you to discover the treasure that have always been there, that not only will help you in the recognition of your wholeness, but then you will be able to sweetest understanding, correct, the misunderstandings of others, not by telling them, but by being the corrected idea. And the corrected idea has no dogma. It has no religion or spiritual practice, no ideology of country or class or culture, society, government, or any institution. It is that which you have discovered as a person in wisdom and love and beauty. This is a good time to. May every aspect within you find the beauty of its being and know its contribution and remember itself so that it grows the power of harmonized light, courageous in the face of any darkness, aligned with the dance, giving and receiving. May the wisdom within you grow so fully that you need to say nothing that you trust that every action is directed for the good of all life without pontificating by statement, by belief, or announcement. May you walk in this garden with deep reverence, 
for those that are hiding, for those that are, for those that are shining, for those that are self-absorbed and asleep and self-absorbed and broadcasting, may you have the greatest compassion and love for these aspects of yourself known as your sibling in this one human family. May you let go of these ideas intellectually spoken of, of oneness and light and love and light work. May you simply become the presence of that so deeply embodied in the interdependent community that you may speak with the words of the greatest wisdom that is sourced to you from all life. May you know yourself as this source truly felt, experienced, and then may you share it, that we, the people, may receive it, and that we, the people, may have the opportunity to breathe together. Oh, in relief of that freedom that comes and the recognition of the interdependence of life. Today is a beautiful day. And as we share this breath, we simply say thank you to that which we are, to all that we're becoming, and to all the hidden spaces within us and with all beings that will show us the way to a more harmonious life. This is a blessing. Every step in this step, every understanding in this understanding is a great and beautiful blessing. May we celebrate this together. And blessed be, let this be a whole ending.